Hey guys, this is Louis again. Today I'm going to record a video about how to stream your PC on your phone playing Orders and the Chaos. So firstly, you have to install the Steam on your PC and you have to make an account. So that should be, I think everyone should have it. Then we go to the library. We should add the Orders and Chaos in right here. Then we click add a game at a non-steam game then we click browse so we just select where you put the game at data then app win32 click this one then click add selected programs okay it will be right here so that's the first step then you have to go to steam right here click setting and then um, at the remote play section you have to enable remote play so you open right here then everything on the computer should be done and then we have to do everything on the phone right now so at the phone side um, here's a like I use Apple Apple phone so Android actually has a better way but maybe more complicated Steam Link is a universal way every phone I don't say every phone but nowadays it should be like 95% of the phone should be work with Steam Link if Apple can work, I'm sure Android can work. So, you, like uh, from Google app or whatever uh, iOS uh, app store, just search Steam Link right here. Then you download and you open. So after first time open, so make sure you connect to the same Wi-Fi with your computer first. Like uh, just like let it, let them use everything, then get started. So that will auto search which computer already opens the remote control so I search and then we just click this one so it will show a ping right here then you just need to type the ping on your PC and then confirm and then it will test whatever the speed can be tested like uh, it take a few seconds it should be quick <coughs> Okay, I think that's my max. Okay, then we s click OK. Uh, we cl click start playing. So, same computer, touch controller, good connection. Okay, then we connect. Once this page is right here, I think we have to do probably one more thing. Okay. So this is a. Uh, we just go library right here. Okay. So on on the on right here on the phone, I just click. Oh no, I have to do one more thing. So we click right here, and then because we we want to play orders and chaos for sure, we need the direct direct touch, and then enable controller. But maybe later, uh, we click this one. Uh, before we start we need to do the like control we click like we just switch switch back switch back to the PC section we click this one this icon um, this is a controller and then uh, what we have to do is we have to do uh, do some setting on the joystick right here uh, so the left joystick it means on your phone right here the left one it should be a circle right here use so the left one if we push up it will be move to the front it will be W so keyboard W and and then the going down which is going back which is a key S then this direction is A this direction is D after that um, it should be good you don't have to do some everything else uh, then you can set A A B X Y to whatever it's uh, space jumping space means jumping like you can set B is a scale button one two three uh, it's just for the for for use use a spell okay you can set three then X and Y I set as page up and page down so which is zoom zoom the 
like your view. Okay, so once everything is set, we can just back. Um, we back again. Uh, should we just click B? B is back, back, and then we can click play. Then it will auto launch the game. So uh, if you running Windows 11, the back side of the screen will shut down by itself. But if you run Windows 10, uh, you have to go to your computer because you see if you like doing everything like on the computer, you move the mouse to the top, it only reach reach the lens. So you have to click the Windows button. Then you click the minimize the window right here. You click it. Then after you click it, it will be full screen on your phone. I mean, I mean, it's not full screen right now, but uh, you can do something to make it full screen. So uh, let's see, can we log into the game right now? Yeah, then we can move and we can use a spell. So everything is playable right now. But someone will say, oh, it's not full screen. Um, and here's a controller layer. So you just scroll, move everything. I maybe already have some settings. So um, everything is right here. So this is a space. This is a three spell. Then this is zoom. Then you can, you can you don't have to do the same way like what I did. You can do uh, with something like RB as a zoom button or whatever. I, I mean, it's easy. It depends on you. So now we have to make a full screen. So we still need to like do something before we really launch the game. So we can just shut down the uh, stop streaming. And then we don't worry about the phone right now. Uh, we we close the game, then we can um, exist the big, big mode, big big picture mode. So, uh, like my phone right now, I use an iPhone XR, um, which we can do is just search iPhone XR resolution. So the pixel is this one, and we just need to know what's the ratio. So we do the calculator okay right here like what I'm doing is so I just divide the the length divide the height so 17 92 divide to 8 to 8 equal the ratio is like 2.16 something and then what does this one mean so we can go edit the game resolution so uh, if you check the full screen button um, so this is teaching you how to full screen so you can full screen either way on your pc or a few remote on your phone you can use a like this guy too so right here it is a monitor resolution i mean i mean not this one it's like it is a game resolution to fit with a, a screen the phone screen resolution so whatever I will say is I can I can put the lens smaller than 768 so I just do 767 for the maximum so the height for my phone like this is the height the height will be 767 so the ratio I just need to know my phone's resolution ratio divide equal you go what you put this one so my height will be 767 then I just times this number I get the lens resolution so I just time six, 767 which is equal okay so that is 1660 for my lens resolution for my phone then after I know everything oh my god so what what is this? Sixteen sixty, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So th this this is a resolution I get in the BAM, and then I back to the special K. Uh, I think there are, there are two ways. So the easiest way is I just go go to the game file, and then we can click any dot like start game dot bat. Or we can just go back right here. We copy, and then we paste another one. And then we just edit the name phone 1660 times 767. This is, this is a f bad file name. It doesn't change nothing. We still need to go here, edit the number right here, so which is 1660. And the height is 767. And then we save it. No, I think it, maybe it doesn't really work. I shouldn't do this. I mean, I mean, it's a it's a wrong one. I I shouldn't do it. So we can go to the Steam right here. We click the properties. Then we put sixteen sixty and seven hundred sixty seven. This is the easiest way, but it may have some problem. So, uh, let me see. If I click streaming right here. And then, by the way, the the yellow one, it is my OBS, so uh, don't worry about this this yellow one. So I start playing the game. It look like full screen right now. So yeah, this is the easiest way. So we full screen. <laughs> yeah, we are full screen. So that's good. Oh, so this is easy. You don't have to do something extra, like you already you already get full screen. Well, that's much quicker than what I think, actually. Um, yeah, if you wanna do until this, um, it should be already good. And then you just need to do some setting from the layer control. Then you scroll whatever the button on your screen, you just drag to right here. If you don't like it, you can just delete right here. It will delete. Uh, yeah, this until this right now, it's easy. So you can already finish. But if you want to do more, so uh, we can do more right now. Uh, which I'm going to do is we open click the special K then we have the game right here we open the game and then we click control shift in the backspace backspace is a delete button so you just click it then we see the special K control panel then we can click the uh, Windows management right here and then we click 1660 and uh, the height I will set is how much 767 and then okay borderless okay then we click out F4 to shut the game down so sometimes when we see this one uh, your game doesn't work no more the easiest way so we we just have a test right now so we open the game, it will say some various stuff, it doesn't work. You just delete it. And from your backup file, uh, right here. I mean, this one I have to create myself. So basically, you just need to create a folder and call it backup. And then uh, you put your, like, this win32.exe before you do everything. If you didn't do it, you just download it again and then unzip it. So I already do it. So I just copy and then I paste to the file right here. So it should be open again. I can, I sh it should be open again. Okay. Do me. What's going on? Okay, it's back on right now. Okay, so since I already set the resolution right here, 
Um, I still to need to do one more thing before um, I really play it. So which is, I have to set the resolution in game first. I mean in the a special key control panel first. Then I come here. Uh, here there should be a something called uh, configuration. I guess not configuration. It's it's a properties. So. 1660 time 767 and then we save then we start the game to help it will be a like with borderless with no this one and then my phone resolution so you can click everything everything that you I still work and then um, we shut this one down right now so uh, we open special key again. After you set everything, you create a short desktop shortcut, and then we click right click properties. Then we just you see the target right here. It's two. It's two up. So the first one is special key. Like after we start the special key, then we start the orders and the keys again, and then ignore the. Ignore the resolution right here. Just copy everything right here. Copy, then we go to the Steam library, app Win32. You click the setting right here, properties, then just replace everything with what you copy right there. And then it should be good. So once we check again right here, start playing, and then it will be a full screen. Then make sure that one is direct, direct touch. And then we click play. Just wait a few seconds when it's loading finish. Okay. I guess we have to shut down this page. So we have to do back on the PC again. Uh, but I don't know because it's, I have no idea. Okay. My mouse will be locked, locking this page right now. So there's another way. We click Control Shift in the backspace, and then when we see the control panel right here, we just scroll right here. There's something called uh, Input Manager. Not this one. This one. Then debugging. We scroll down here. Print debug output to console. Click it. Then the command page will be uh, will be gone. And just click login. Then it's full screen right now. So it's full screen. Apple full screen. And which is playable. Which is playable. 